Hello, Daz Studio patrons. This is not from this world, and I want to welcome you back to my tutorial series. For today, I thought that I would take the leap and actually download Daz Studio 2025, check it out, see what it's all about, and take that risk of the unknown. So Milika is going to hang out here in Daz 4.24 and watch what happens. Okay, so I opened up the Daz Install Manager and downloads Daz Studio 2025. I want to make sure, though, that it is going to be uploaded onto my E drive. Many years ago, when I downloaded Daz Studio, I made that mistake of putting it on my C drive, and it's been stuck on my C drive ever since. So I thought, what the heck, let's make sure this one goes into the E drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this little gear in the upper right. I'm going to click on it and go to advanced settings, hit downloads, and then it does say that my package archive is going to go to the E drive. And so it says here that this is the path of the folder that newly downloaded packages will be saved to. So this should go to my E drive, I am hoping. So let's just uh, download this. All right, so the Daz Studio 2025 was downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and download this Go Z for Daz Studio as well. And if we jump to the ready to install, it's installing my Daz Studio 2025. And that's that. It's in there. Okay, so now up on my desktop, I have an icon for Daz 4.24. And I have an icon for Daz 2025. Let's open it up. It asked me to upload a content directory, so I went ahead and did that. It's asking to send information about crashes that you may experience. So I'll hit yes for that. Okay, so I had to put in my username and password. And I've got to be honest, I forgot what my password was. That's just always automatically opening up and so I had to uh, reset my password but I got it going so let's go to next and it's gonna ask for my personal name and website so it says that the name field requires a value all others are optional so I'm just gonna put not from this world hopefully that'll work and it looks like we're in. So now I'm going to go in. My big question is what is in my content library? And it looks like everything that I have in DAS 4.24 could be in DAS 2025 without me having to upload anything. Is this for real? Let's see if we can open up Milica. There she is. All right, I'm trying to open up. Milica and see if she'll open in Daz 2025. So as I suspected, my content's not on Daz 2025. I just tried to put a bikini onto the Milica character. She loaded up, but the bikini would not, which doesn't surprise me. Let's see if we can open up a scene. I'm going to try and open up the same scene that I have open with Milica in Daz 4.24. I know it's not going to work. So I'm trying to open up this scene here with Milica sitting on the couch. But it says it cannot find the data. I knew it would. So I knew that I was going to have to upload every item into TAS 2025. This is going to be a major problem. So if you know any way to mass move things, let me know because... This is crazy. So it's obviously not going to work. I guess I can hit locate. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to move all of my folders over into Daz 2025. Oh man, what a problem. What a pain. I knew it was going to happen. This is why I haven't moved my current Daz Studio onto the E drive is because I knew that I wouldn't be able to access any of my content unless I basically started my library over. And I have a lot of manual uploaded items. And so 
I'm sure that under products here, we could probably get, uh, you can see um, any of the products I use from Daz Studio seems to have loaded. That content was moved into Daz 2025. You can see Milica here. She's naked though. And you can see that uh, she's the only thing in the scene. The couch, everything else is not there. I guess I got the shoes from Daz Studio. That's kind of cool. So what I'm going to have to do is upload all of my content. And just to give you an idea of what I've got, I know I have a crazy filing system and I know I should someday change this I probably never will but all of these files would have to be uploaded into DAS 2025 for me to get it to work and uh, these are all external products things that I've uploaded into DAS Studio second hand and it's not coming from DAS Studio so things like all this G8 clothing that I have, or G9 hair, G8 hair, it's all there. Probably wouldn't take too long to get it uploaded into DAS 2025, but I definitely cannot uh, access it without uploading all of that content, which is going to be very interesting. So if you have a quick way, and I know I've heard that there's a quick way to do it, um, when I talked about this moving my DAS from my C drive to my E drive. I had several of you comment how to do it, but I just haven't been able to get this done. All right, so it seems like with DAS 2025, if I want to play with it more, I'm going to need to just start uploading things into it to get it up to speed so that I can actually use it for a lot of the scenes that I've already created. One of the things I'd like for everyone to do is give me comments on what you think is better about 2025 because at this point I really don't know anything about it except that you can run the 5000 series GPUs with it. But what are some advantages of perhaps using 2025 over 4.24? Because I think at this point for me... I'm going to stick with DAS 4.24 for now and move over to 2025 only when it's a necessity to do so. I've had some questions lately about problems using DAS 2025 with the GPU falling off and uh, things like crashes and that type of thing. I've had several patrons ask me about this. And in my next video for Tuesday, we're going to investigate this. I'm going to jump into 2025, really look at it, kind of play around with it and share some things with you. We're going to compare CPU and GPU to that of DAS 4.24 and uh, we'll investigate this a little bit more. So stay tuned. I'm not done with DAS Studio 2025. All right. Well... Kind of an interesting video today. I did get it up there. It's on my computer, but I'm not going to be able to use it until I upload a crap load of uh, content. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell to get notified for new videos, and comment. Until next time, have a great week.